Welcome back to my channel. Glad you could join me. Now it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. I've been here for quite a while now, but I've gone further up the road here at Cedar Creek to photograph this nice archway that leads into a private property. If you see the video on YouTube, it means it's been a win for me. But it was a very difficult video to shoot, so if you don't see it, it means it's a fail, and that's fine by me. I'd rather show you just the best. But on the way home, I stopped by Cedar Creek here, there's a little park, and I said, well, I'll just come for a walk here just to see if this would be a good location to do a follow-up video on of just the creek here. Now I just walked along the creek, it looks really nice. And then I said, okay, well, I can come back here on another day. But as I turned around, came back up the creek here, look at the view that I'm seeing here. There's no breath of wind in the sky, and I go like, hey, I can do a video right here. Look at the view in front of us here. It's picture postcard. Quickly raced, got my gear, and I'm all set up here. I'm using my Nikon D500, the Tekina, 11 to 20, at around 18, 19 mils. I have a polarizer on. We're around water, definitely need a polarizer. Plus, just to slow down my exposure a bit, I've got a six stop hater filter on. I'm shooting at ISO 100. My white balance is set to sunny because I show you the JPEG photos during the video and then the raw files edited in Lightroom at the end. So ISO 100, my aperture is f11. I want quite a bit of depth of field here. My shutter speed is 2.5 seconds. Now I'm shooting in manual mode. So my exposure triangle is ISO 100, f11. And I use the shutter speed just to balance out that exposure triangle. And the polarizer I've set so that there's no reflections on the water. Now we're going to take one photo with the polarizer set this way and then I'll turn the polarizer around to show you what it looks like with reflections because we'll see the reflections of the sky and the trees in our image and I'm on a two second time of delay. Wow, look at that. It is so nice. I want to check my RGB highlights. There's just a little bit of blinkies in the tree here but the rocks in the foreground here are not overexposed and you can see in the image here can you see that I've just framed it just so that I've got some rocks right in the foreground here. I didn't just want water. If I'd gone a little bit further up the creek, I would have just had water. You need something to anchor your image. Make sure you have something in the foreground to anchor your image. And then this leads people onto your image. Now this looks really nice. Now let's move the filter around so we have reflections there. Now sometimes during the daytime in live view, it's very hard to see. So turn live view off and just look through your viewfinder because that way you can really get a very good feel of how to frame your image. Looks the same. We don't need to adjust our settings. That looks really nice. Can you see that tinge of blue there? So let's quickly take a look at these two images here. We can see the first one here. I've adjusted the polarizer so that I'm cutting through the glare in the water. Looks very nice. The second image here, we've got glare on the water, but you can see it's beautiful blue. There's reflections of the trees, but to me, the first image here is what I want because I've got separation and this is what you want in the landscape to draw the people into your image. We've got the water, which is a brownie color. We've got the shrubs and all that, very green on the side here on the right. We've got the rocks, which are gray brown on the left here. And right in the top of the frame, we've got a beautiful blue sky. Looks magnificent. Now, what happens if we just tilted the camera? Because you can see I'm slightly tilted down. So I quickly tilted the camera slightly up just to give me more field of view. I've gone from 19 mils to 14 mils. And you can see we see much more of our image here. Look, we've got the rocks in the foreground here. And looking back at our other image here, originally I thought that the first image was my best shot. But looking at here, I feel that this one is much better. Why? Because in the first one here, look at our foreground. It's very cluttered. You don't see too much of the rock. The second image here, look at that. We see the whole rock. We see the little flow of water coming in the front here. Plus we have more sky. This is picture postcard. I am just so happy with myself that I actually stopped. And I give you ideas like this to show you that you don't have to get up at the crack of dawn to get great exposures. You just have to look at how the light is shining on your image. So if I face the camera the other way here, I would end up with an atrocious image because I'd have so much highlight. The difference in the sky between a very bright sky, very dark foreground would be too hard to balance. But here I've got the sun in my back. I'm shooting with the sun. So all the light is coming along with me for the ride. And this is just beautiful. I could easily put this image in my portfolio. I just love this image so much. And this is why I tell people you need a polarizer when you're around water. You don't need an ND filter. 
but a polarizer is a must because it cuts out the glare. Sometimes I use, if the water's not too nice, I can set it up so that it gives me reflections. Other times, like today, I don't want the reflections. I want to see into the water and it's just darkening the water, giving me that separation. So here are my best images. You can see the JPEG image and the RAW file and the difference between just shooting in JPEG and shooting in RAW, editing your image in an editing program like Adobe Lightroom or Luminar or whatever program you like. If you use Nikon, you could use Studio NX and it'll give you a really good result. If you found value in this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay safe, enjoy photography, and I'll see you next time.